guys, it's Sherry, and welcome back to The Eyes Have It. I am uh, finally uh, getting around to filming my Sephora VIB sale. It was a very small haul. I spent most of my money on my 500 subscriber giveaway. And um, in my Sephora VIB haul, I picked up two things for myself and one gift. So, let's start with the gift. I was pretty excited to find this. Um, I have a friend that I thought, you know, I, I always like to get her skincare or makeup because it's something that she doesn't uh, usually spend money on for herself. And I know how much she enjoys it. So, uh, when I saw this little package, uh, this little gift package, I thought, oh, this is perfect for Christmas present. It's called Origins Let Us Glow. It's in a really pretty holiday package. It is a four-piece origin set and it starts out with the Origins Original Skin, the Renewal Serum, and then it goes to the Ginseng Eye Cream, which I have and love, and then the Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer, and the Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. So those are the four products that it comes with. I got it for a really reasonable price and you know my friend and I we don't like to spend a lot of money on one another um, but you know when I saw this I thought I can't pass that up for that much skincare for that price. Alright and for myself I picked myself up something that I already have but in another shade for going into the winter and that is the Smashbox Camera Ready CC Cream uh, dark spot correcting and I you may recall uh, when I had my first department store makeover here a couple of months ago the makeup artist used this on me I liked it so much I bought it on the spot and I bought it in medium because at the time it was summer and I was medium and uh, and I knew that uh, going into the winter it was going to be too dark so this is the light well, it's a little lighter maybe than I thought, but not too bad. I just really love the formula of this stuff. It, um, it just has a really nice feel to it, and it works into the skin well. And because it's got the dark spot correcting coloring in it, you know, that it gives you an automatic boost if you have uh, dark spots, as I do. The other thing I wanted to get, and they didn't have my color, is in the this summer I also uh, started using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and quickly became my holy grail. Here again, that I bought in a summer color, and I knew I was going to need a lighter color for my under eyes going into the winter. And unfortunately, by the time I got around to doing the VIB sale, uh, my color was gone. So, didn't get that. And then, this is something that I have wanted for so long, and I just didn't feel like I should spend the money on it. It was really pricey. But I didn't realize it came in different sizes. So I was so excited when I found out it comes in a baby size that I could try out for less money. And that is the Laura Mercier Ready, Set, Go um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I've heard about this for probably as long as I've been on YouTube. And I've been wanting to try it. I just have never, and I have tried so many powders, high-end, drugstore, I have never found a setting powder, not one, that I can use on my under eyes. My skin is so dry that the first time I put any kind of powder there, wrong. I mean, my lines just go wah. So I got the little baby size, and then I don't feel so, you know, quite so guilty. And 
as most with the setting powder. It's got the little sticker in there. But I've just been told this is just the finest, most wonderful setting powder. And it comes with a cute, I don't know why, little things are always so cute. But this little powder puff is just adorable. It's teeny tiny. Look at that little powder puff. Is that not adorable? So, see, I can do this. Okay. Then I got three samples. This one I've had before. I just get it anytime I can because it's, I love it. This is the uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra, Ultra Repair Cream. Really good stuff. I use it on my hands. Cole Resveratrol Lift Eye Lifting Balm, I guess is what they call it in English. Bobby Brown Intensive Skin Serum Concealer in Warm Ivory. That's probably going to be too too light for me, but never hurts to give it a try. Okay, and I just thought I'd just throw something else in here that I did not get from Sephora, but uh, I just picked up while I was uh, at CVS the other day with my little sister. You know, I've been sick for two weeks, and I uh, I did, you know, mass quantities of coughing and nose blowing and stuff. And I had never seen my lips, because I take good care of my lips. I use balm every day, all day. I keep balm in all key points in my house, in my purse. So uh, I take pretty good care of my lips, but I noticed that as I was getting better, the first time I went to put lip color on, it was and it was a dark one. It was like blotchy, blotch, 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 and it was because of all the dead skin. So, numerous people, including most recently Angie of Hot and Flashy, told me that uh, that the Elf Lip Exfoliator was fantastic. And then after she told me that, that I just saw uh, saw Natalie the Beauty Diva talking about it in her video on Saturday. So I went ahead and finally remembered to pick one up for myself. Now, packaging. Packaging. Look, I mean, I'm having to tear this thing apart to get this thing out of here. It's ridiculous. I've got it torn apart from both ends, and I'm still having trouble getting the dang thing out. All right, look. Look at the packaging by the time I got that thing out. Why? All right, so here is the e.l.f. Lip, lip Exfoliator. So I'm looking forward to using that and getting my lips back to their normal, healthy selves. All right, so there's Sephora VIB. And then I also have, I also did an Ulta haul. Ulta reeled me in with this free something or take $20 off of this or something. And then I get over there and I pick out all my stuff and do you not one single thing that I had picked out was they were all restricted from the sale. I was mad. But there were a couple things I wanted to pick up so I went ahead and got them. I'm going to say goodbye for now and um, then Ulta will be coming up. Take care. Be well. And I'll talk to you next time.